Hey folks, this is Adria, and I am back from TechCrunch San Francisco here, and I had such an amazing time. What I'm going to be doing is sharing a series of uh, experiences and thoughts and the big news that happened at TechCrunch, so stay tuned. The first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is Mike Arrington leaving TechCrunch. That's his company. He showed up Monday for opening remarks at TechCrunch with the shirt that said, Unpaid Blogger. I'm going to go ahead and read part of his statement he made that morning. It's a sad day for me because I built this and I built the team that built this. Unfortunately, I'm going to be the first to leave. It's no longer a good situation for me to stay at TechCrunch. And so in case you didn't follow the first video or know what was going on, AOL acquired TechCrunch last year. And, you know, I'm not, who's a fan of AOL anyway? Let's just say that. But the Huffington Post also tied into AOL. So what happened was Ariana Huffington, she wanted control over TechCrunch, and Mike didn't really want to give that up. And there were discussions about conflicts of interest because Arrington had started this, this thing called Crunch Fund. He was going to invest in companies. And now even with the announcement of the winners for TechCrunch Disrupt, there's a lot of grumbling because <laughs> based on the favorites and the finalists, some of those are um, Crunch Fund companies. Anyway, let's go back to Mike, though. Yeah, so he's leaving. Um, he made a statement over um, on, the, on the TechCrunch blog uh, for the post that listed the finalists, and he was replying to Eric. He said, I'm still an AOL employee through tomorrow, which is the 15th, which is today. Uh, also, as you know, I had significant input into this list of finalists and spoke to Heather for over an hour last night about them. My final list is somewhat different from this one, though we agree on four of the companies. And then he goes on to uh, warn people about making statements on his behalf. So after today, Mike Arrington will no longer be an employee of TechCrunch. I think it's really disheartening, but, you know, looking back in technology and with companies that have really driven innovation, it's not surprising. I mean, look at Steve Jobs. Look at the founder of GM. And I'll go back to that again. It's just, I feel bad. I do. But maybe Mike's going to go on to do something just even more amazing now. So I'm... I'm sad for him, but I'm also happy. At, la at last night's closing party uh, at Mighty, people were uh, putting up notes and saying really nice things, you know, wishing Mike uh, good luck. So that is the first of a couple of videos. Uh, you can definitely catch more information over on the TechCrunch website. I'm sure that they'll be talking about this for weeks. And then as Mike starts, um, you know, working uh, with future companies that he's involved with, I'm sure that'll be covered on TechCrunch as well. So if you're at the event, I was so glad to meet you. I covered it with Jeffrey from Geekazine. We had such a great time. Uh, if I didn't get to meet you, feel free to reach out and say hi. And I hope you go next year. I would love to go to TechCrunch New York um, now. TechCrunch is from New York. Um, you know, and then again, back here in San Francisco next year. So, and remember, I will be in New York in a couple of weeks in early October for the O'Reilly Web 2.0 conference. So make sure to reach out and say hi. Look for the extra videos that we'll be releasing over the next couple of days and next week about TechCrunch Disrupt. Take care.